Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the APC and Tank Turrets mod which is being made by user blah blah d blah blah and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to build armored personnel carriers and tanks in your settlements. Though I have to tell you right off the bat here, these aren't properly functioning APCs and tanks. They're only semi-functional in that they don't actually serve as vehicles that you can jump in and drive around. Rather, you build them at your settlements to basically function as glorified turrets, which still is pretty freaking sweet considering who doesn't want some of these sitting in front of their settlement guarding it. It's just awesome. Again, they are basically just glorified turrets, but I gotta say, I'm perfectly okay with some glorified turrets. Uh, the tanks in particular, they count as missile turrets, but missiles come out of each of the barrels, so they're basically double barrel missile launchers. And the APCs, they function as machine gun turrets, and so will rain a lot of bullet hell down on the enemies. And what is fun is that their turrets will actually move and track the enemy like a normal turret would. The problem with them is that they still have the fairly limited range of normal turrets. Uh, for instance, I was testing these with some death claws earlier, and even the missile turrets could really only fire to about here or so, which you'd think a tank could fire further, but I mean, oh well, what are you gonna do? Now as for how you build these things, it's pretty simple. Once you do have it installed, you just need to go into your workshop mode and head all the way to the end where we have a new category called Building Big. Inside there we have two subcategories, one for, um, small turrets, question mark, which will build the glorified turret tanks. And then the other category is minigun turrets, and these are actually really quite interesting because they're the same sort of things, these APCs, etc., sitting around, but they're ones that you can get into to fire the gun yourself. And one of them is right here, as you can see, it is unassigned at the moment. And these are pretty freaking cool. Now let's take a look at the small turrets first, and what we do have in here, starting with the tanks, that will cost a fair amount of steel for you to build a hundred, and technically it requires power, at least it says it requires power, but I have not hooked up any of these to power and they still function perfectly fine. So I'm wondering if that is a glitch that they show that, because actually if we do look at one of these things, you can see that it is indeed power at, no, powered at the moment, though there are no cables running to it, which is quite intriguing. Now again, we do have our first tank here. It will produce eight defense, which I think it's a little low, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Gonna do? The next is a green army tank, which I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of. It's meant to sort of look like the uh, plastic green army soldiers, but uh, I just think it looks weird. I'd rather go with just the standard rusty tank. I think that's much cooler looking. Now then after that, we get into the APCs, of which we have the sort of standard old rusty APC, like this one. We then also have a green one, again, looking like one of those plastic green toys, which of course you can see right here. And then we also have a tan army APC, which you can see right here. Not quite is strange, but, uh, you know, serviceable, certainly. Now, all the APCs, as you can see, also do produce eight defense, and uh, again, technically require energy, but technically don't. I'm not entirely sure on what that is. Now, that is it for the automatic turrets. Now, if we go into the minigun turrets, we have a gunner station, which the first one, by default, is this one here, the older uh, wasteland version, and then we have a secondary version, which is named exactly the same, but is in this tan color right here, and this is an APC you can actually get into and fire the gun. Now, it doesn't actually look like it has a gun, and in fact, you can see it's kind of just missing the whole top bit, uh, but when you get inside, it'll be like shooting a minigun from outside of a vertebird, which is pretty cool. We then have a gunner station, which you can see there on the ground, and this works 
just like the APC does. It's basically a tripod you can walk up to, hit E, and you'll be using a minigun. Now, I should actually note that these are still very much work in process uh, for these ones that you can control, uh, especially because, as you can tell, you can't actually see the weapon that you'll be using. Uh, so hopefully that'll come in the future. But yes, it is a little tripod of a uh, chain gun you can get onto, which is fun. And finally, we uh, actually can build a vertebrate if you so desire. If we can actually just get this thing in the green here. Oh boy, oh, there we go. We had it for a moment. We had it for a moment there. Oh, it's big, it's really big. Why must I always do this? There we are, which functions again as a work in progress like these where you jump in and you can control the minigun. That is it. it. At least on this one though, you can see the minigun, but we can jump right on board and it'll just stay in place and we basically have a glorified bunker that we can shoot people from, which is awkward, but you know what? It's still pretty cool. Again, work in progress. This may change in the future to be something more useful, but for now, I'm actually just gonna take it out because, well, it's uh, kind of in the way. Now, as for the other two turrets, these are actually pretty cool, and I quite enjoy these, especially this small one, the gunner station. We kind of crawl <laughs> into its position, which is a little weird because it's still using the vertebrate animation as if you are crawling into the vertebrate. But there, now we're on this tripod pod with a freaking chain gun and that's beautiful we can just hit e again to get out and there we are and same deal with the apc gunner station here we climb through the model and then bam we are on top now, as you can see, we only have about 180 degrees of uh, view here. I wish we could go full 360, but again, it's a limitation of the vertebrate. We're basically reusing that vertebrate uh, gunner seat on these other two things. So hopefully that'll change the future, but for the time being, work in progress. Very much a work in progress. So how do these things fare in battle? Well, <laughs> let's spawn something and find out. I spawned six Alpha Deathclaws earlier and they kind of ran rampant around my settlement. So let's just spawn two for testing purposes. And there we go. You can see the turrets are facing at them, tracking the enemy and firing rockets and bullets at them just fine without any issues. And I really do like these turrets doing that. It's uh, it's pretty impressive, especially the APCs with the turret on top. If we do spawn a couple of more there and you watch that top turret, it is shooting very nicely, tracking, which is very cool. And we should have these ones over here also firing. There we are. And it's just fun. I love the idea of having these parked outside of a settlement near whatever entrance you have guarding the place. It's just pretty cool, especially the tanks. I mean, I love the look of these things. They are pretty impressive. I wish we had a functioning one we could drive around the world in, but oh well, for the time being, at the very least, we can build them to protect our settlements. And that, well, that's pretty cool. It spawns more because I just love watching these things fire. They got the beautiful tracking turrets, the barrels move, everything, and they're starting to get out of range. You can see that the missiles can no longer fire. Oh, nope, there they go. He went, came back into range. Beautiful, beautiful. But they have kind of gotten a bit out of range there. Let's jump into this gunner station and uh, take them on ourselves. All right, where'd they go? Uh-oh, they're on the other side of the bar. Well, they're lost forever, and my settlement's going to be killed by Deathclaws. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that is the APC and Tank Turrets mod. If you would like to uh, try these out for yourself, and I definitely would say to go and give it a try, as it is pretty freaking awesome. Oh, they spawned behind me, didn't they? Yes. Yes, they did. Well, I'm, I'm useless at the moment in this turret. But yes, definitely go give them a try, as they are a hilariously good time. And I mean, come on. Who doesn't want all of these tanks just firing? It's cool. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed. And, of course, that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And, as always, have a good one.